hostile Indians attack and set fire to the cabin of old Missouri, the traffic, in an attempt to recapture Anne Blaine and her Aunt Martha, who were rescued from the Indian village by Anne's brother Noah, Tom Crosby, Missouri, and Bart Eaton, and with them took refuge in Missouri's cabin, unaware that Butch Gore and his henchmen were in hiding there. Crosby and Eaton overcome Butch and his henchmen and tie them up just as the Indians attacked the cabin, while Noah, Anne's brother, rode to his father's construction camp for help. Wake up! Wake up, Missouri! They're burning the house down! Why did you stop here, Judd? Don't you think we ought to divide forces, Blaine? Well, what's the use of splitting our strength? They already said they're going to Missouri's cabin. You're right, Noah. Go ahead, Judd. You know the way. Fire! I'll get you out of here, all right? Wait! Wait, here. Stutter. Stutter. Open it. Open it. Oh, and you go down there. Quick. All right. Quick. Quick. And these dots on the screen. What are you going to do with that? We need to turn it far enough. Let's tie our legs so we can get away. Let's get right out of this thing. Let's get right out of this thing. Let's get right out of this Wait a minute. Now, the first one of you that makes a sound gets filled full of lead. Go on. Where'd you put the horses? Right over there. All right, come on, hurry up. All right, Butch. Where are your horses? Down there away. Get out of here. Get on your horse, Butch. Don't try to get away. Follow me. The Indians have burned the cabin. And the must. There couldn't have been any possible chance for them to escape. It certainly looks that way, Mr. Blaine. Maybe the Indians carried them off. You wait here, Dad. I'm going to take a look up at the spring. All right, son.
Dad! Come on back with me to the spring. I want to show you something. All right. Come on, men. Look, Dad. There's a dead Indian. And there's a bucket from Missouri's cabin. Oh, they were up over here getting water when the Indians attacked the cabin. Look here. A woman's footprint. Look, a tunnel. It probably leads to the cabin. They've made their escape. Look, in that direction. That's Come on, man. There's been a lot of horses around here. They're not Indian ponies, Dad. They're shot. They've escaped. And probably headed for the camp. It's the old man. Get on work. No, no, no. been for old Missouri here, we'd have been burned alive. Now, this is no time to talk about it. We'd better be getting out of here. The woods are full of Indians. Yes. And I've got three of the men that held up the stage. Come on, men. Let's get to town. And put those renegades in jail. All right. Come on, you. What are you doing here? I brought Mrs. Lunch. He can take what we gave us. Say, you got no right to say that, Riley. He ain't been tried yet. Well, I represent the law. Hello, Flo. What's the trouble? Oh, General Grant here thinks I'm trying to break into his jail. <laughs> hey, what do you got in there? None of your business. Well, I got examined. There might be some guns and knives in there. We like to feed our own prisoners. We give them pretty good food. There's an necessary thing to do. Hey, you. That grub was brung here for me. I know. It might be poison. We can't take any chances. If I'd have known you were going to eat it, it would have been poison. Well, when you get through sampling it, you might leave something for me. Well, I guess it's all right. Take an answer. Get back there. Oh, thanks, Flo. Cup of coffee is all right. Listen, you tell Judd he's going to get me out of this, or I'm going to tell everything. I said to keep your mouth shut and we'll get you free. You tell him Buck King Joe know too much. You tell if you know get him out of this jail. Don't worry, don't worry. He's going to get you out. And this is what he wants you to do. Now listen, he said, the day of the trial, he's You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Anne Blaine, for not going to this trial. Haven't you any respect for justice? It's just a show, Aunt Martha. They don't need any trial. 
Well, everybody knows that they're guilty. Just the same. You should be a volunteer witness, the same as I am. Well, I'm not going to their silly old trial. Court is called to order. It is a court of justice. And these prisoners have a right to hear themselves condemned. Now I reckon that... Oh. Sit down, Martha. I reckon that even Butch Dore couldn't be a big enough liar to deny that they held up that stage for This tribe is going to be ready, and according to law. And I'm going to call on Tom Thornton to tell these fair-minded jurymen exactly what happened. Mr. Crosby, stand up. Tell the jury what you know. Well, I move we adjourn. Oh, we don't need a trial. Everybody knows they're guilty, and there's only one thing to do. Iron. I have been appointed judge. And I'm going to see that these prisoners are convicted properly. I'm afraid about the trial. Judge, they do nothing. Isn't someone going to defend them? Martha, keep out of this. They can't be all bad when they were lying bound and wounded in the cabin. Do you know what Butch Gore asked me to do? What did he ask you to do? He wanted me to untie him so he could go down and water his horse. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Martha. You have all heard what Tom Cosby had to say. Now, if no one else has everything to put in, the jury can retire and deliberate. We don't need no deliberations, Judge. Do we, man? Ah. <laughs> have you reached the verdict? We have. What is it? Guilty. Prisoners, stand up and face your death. Have you anything to say? Sure. I'm a powerful act to say. And it concerns somebody right here in this saloon. What? This is a court. Remember that. Just the same as you're going to convict me, you're going to hear a lot about somebody else that's just as guilty as I am. Stay where you are, everybody. And don't anybody go for your arms. Come on, man. Hold on there, Cosby!
He's gaining on us, Joe. Butch, you hide. I'll stop him. Ha <laughs> ha! 